Working Principle of Crystal Oscillator A crystal oscillator is an electronic oscillator circuit that utilizes the mechanical resonance of a vibrating crystal of piezoelectric material to create an electrical signal with a very precise frequency. These oscillators are commonly used in various electronic devices such as computers, radios, televisions, and cell phones to provide stable and accurate timing signals. Here's a breakdown of key aspects of crystal oscillators. The working principle of a crystal oscillator revolve around the piezoelectric effect exhibited by certain crystalline materials, such as quartz. The piezoelectric effect refers to the ability of these materials to generate an electric charge in response to mechanical stress, and vice versa. The piezoelectric effect is a phenomenon observed in certain materials, such as quartz, rochelle salt, and certain ceramics, where they generate an electric charge in response to mechanical stress or deformation. Conversely, when an electric field is applied to these materials, they undergo mechanical deformation or vibration. This dual property makes them invaluable in various applications, from sensors to actuators to electronic components like crystal oscillators. Key Points Mechanism In piezoelectric materials, the atoms or molecules are arranged in a non-centrosymmetric crystal lattice structure. When mechanical stress is applied, the lattice deforms, causing a displacement of positive and negative charges within the material. This displacement creates an electric dipole moment, resulting in the generation of an electric field within the material. Direct and inverse effects. Direct piezoelectric effect. Mechanical stress leads to the generation of electric charge. Inverse piezoelectric effect. Application of an electric field results in mechanical deformation or vibration. Applications. Sensors. Piezoelectric materials are used in various sensing applications, such as accelerometers, pressure sensors, and strain gauges. Actuators. They are employed as actuators in devices like piezoelectric motors, piezoelectric pumps, and inkjet printers. Transducers. Convert between electrical and mechanical forms of energy, enabling their use in ultrasonic transducers for medical imaging and industrial cleaning. Crystal oscillators. The piezoelectric properties of quartz are exploited in crystal oscillators to generate precise and stable oscillations for timekeeping and signal generation in electronic devices. Material selection. Quartz is one of the most commonly used piezoelectric materials due to its stable properties, high mechanical quality factor, Q factor, and low temperature coefficient of frequency. Other materials like lead zirconate titanate, PZT, ceramics are also widely used for their strong piezoelectric response. Engineering applications. Piezoelectric materials are crucial in the fields of aerospace, automotive, medical devices, consumer electronics, and more. They are preferred for their reliability, efficiency, and ability to operate in harsh environments. Limitations. Piezoelectric materials may have limitations in terms of frequency response, temperature stability, and mechanical robustness depending on the specific application. Some materials, like lead-based ones, may pose environmental concerns due to the presence of toxic elements. In essence, the piezoelectric effect enables the conversion between mechanical and electrical energy, offering a versatile mechanism that finds applications across a wide range of industries and technologies. Resonance is a fundamental concept in physics and engineering, describing the phenomenon where a system oscillates with maximum amplitude at a specific frequency when subjected to an external force or stimulus. This frequency is known as the system's natural frequency of oscillation. Key Points Natural Frequency Every physical system has a characteristic natural frequency at which it tends to oscillate when disturbed. This frequency is determined by the system's physical properties, such as mass, stiffness, and damping. Forced oscillation. When an external force is applied to a system, it causes the system to oscillate. If the frequency of the applied force matches the natural frequency of the system, resonance occurs. At resonance, the amplitude of the system's oscillation becomes significantly larger compared to when the force is applied at other frequencies. Mechanical resonance. In mechanical systems, resonance is commonly observed in structures like bridges, buildings, and musical instruments. For example, pushing a swing at its natural frequency amplifies the swing's oscillations, leading to higher swings. Similarly, musical instruments produce resonant tones when excited at their natural frequencies. 
Electrical resonance. In electrical circuits, resonance occurs when the reactance of an inductive component, inductor, cancels the reactance of a capacitive component, capacitor, at a specific frequency. This phenomenon is exploited in circuits such as resonant LC tank circuits and in applications like radio frequency, RF, tuning. Resonant frequency. The frequency at which resonance occurs is known as the resonant frequency. It is determined by the characteristics of the system and can be calculated using mathematical models or measured experimentally. Applications Resonance has numerous practical applications across various fields, including tuning circuits in radios, televisions, and communication systems, structural engineering to avoid resonance-induced vibrations, medical imaging techniques like magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, Musical instruments to produce specific tones. Electrical filters for signal processing and frequency selection. Damping. Damping mechanisms within a system, such as friction or resistance, can influence resonance by dissipating energy and reducing the amplitude of oscillations. Overdamping or underdamping can affect the system's response to external stimuli and its ability to resonate effectively. Understanding resonance is essential in designing and analyzing various systems enabling engineers to optimize performance, avoid undesirable effects like vibrations or instability, and harness resonance for beneficial applications. A feedback loop is a fundamental concept in control theory and electronic circuit design, where a portion of the output of a system is fed back to the input to regulate or modify the system's behavior. Feedback loops play a crucial role in maintaining stability, achieving desired performance, and controlling the behavior of complex systems. Key points. Types of feedback. Positive feedback. The output signal is fed back to the input in such a way that it reinforces or amplifies the input signal. Positive feedback loops can lead to instability or oscillations if not properly controlled. Negative feedback. The output signal is fed back to the input in a manner that opposes or reduces the input signal. Negative feedback loops are commonly used to stabilize systems and regulate their behavior. Components of a feedback loop. Input, the signal or stimulus applied to the system. Output, the result or response produced by the system. Feedback path, the path through which a portion of the output signal is returned to the input. Summing point, the point where the feedback signal is combined with the input signal. Controller or processing element, the component that processes the combined signal and generates the system's output. Functions of feedback. Stability. Negative feedback is often employed to stabilize systems by reducing errors or deviations from desired values. Control. Feedback loops allow for precise control of system parameters, such as temperature, speed, or voltage. Linearization. Feedback can linearize nonlinear systems by continuously adjusting the input based on the output. Amplification or attenuation. Positive feedback can be used to amplify signals in certain applications while negative feedback can attenuate signals. Applications Amplifiers Feedback is used in audio amplifiers to stabilize gain and improve linearity. Control systems Feedback loops are central to the operation of various control systems, such as thermostats, autopilots, and industrial process controllers. Oscillators Feedback is essential in oscillator circuits to sustain oscillations at specific frequencies. Communication systems Feedback is employed in communication systems to adjust signal strength, correct errors, and maintain signal integrity. Design considerations. Gain and phase margin. Proper selection of feedback parameters to ensure stability and performance. Bandwidth. The frequency range over which the feedback loop operates effectively. Transient response. The speed and accuracy of the system's response to changes in input. Feedback loops are pervasive in engineering and technology playing a critical role in systems ranging from electronic circuits to biological processes. Understanding and effectively utilizing feedback mechanisms are essential for designing robust and efficient systems. Sustained oscillations refer to the continuous and stable oscillatory behavior exhibited by a system over time without decaying or diverging. These oscillations persist indefinitely under certain conditions, often facilitated by feedback mechanisms or inherent system dynamics. Key points. Feedback mechanisms. Sustained oscillations often occur in systems with feedback loops, where a portion of the output signal is fed back to the input. 
Positive feedback loops, which amplify the output signal, can lead to sustained oscillations if the loop gain is sufficiently high and phase conditions are met. Examples include electronic oscillators like the Veen Bridge Oscillator or Relaxation Oscillators. Natural Frequencies Sustained oscillations can also arise in systems with inherent natural frequencies, such as mechanical or electrical systems. When these systems are excited at their natural frequencies, energy is continuously exchanged between different forms, e.g., mechanical, electrical, to sustain oscillations. Stability and Damping the stability of sustained oscillations depends on the balance between energy input and dissipation within the system. In some cases, damping mechanisms may exist to attenuate oscillations and maintain stability over time. However, sustained oscillations can persist even in the presence of damping if the energy input is sufficient to overcome damping losses. Examples Electronic oscillators, circuits such as LC oscillators, crystal oscillators, and relaxation oscillators can exhibit sustained oscillations when properly configured. Mechanical systems. Examples include pendulum clocks, vibrating strings, and spring mass systems, where energy input from an external source or initial displacement can sustain oscillations. Biological systems. Biological oscillators, such as the heartbeat, circadian rhythms, and neuronal firing patterns, exhibit sustained oscillations driven by biochemical feedback loops and neural interactions. Control and stability. While sustained oscillations are desirable in some applications, e.g., in oscillators, they can be problematic in others, leading to instability or unwanted behavior. Control mechanisms may be employed to regulate oscillations, stabilize systems, or damp out unwanted oscillatory behavior. Frequency and amplitude. Sustained oscillations are characterized by a constant frequency and amplitude once the system reaches a steady-state condition. The frequency of oscillation is typically determined by the system's natural frequency or by the frequency-selective properties of the feedback loop. Understanding the conditions under which sustained oscillations occur is essential for designing stable systems and controlling oscillatory behavior in various engineering, scientific, and biological contexts. Frequency control refers to the ability to adjust, regulate, or maintain the frequency of an oscillating signal within a desired range or with a specific precision. This process is essential in various electronic systems and applications where precise timing or frequency stability is required. Key Points Frequency Adjustment Frequency control involves the ability to adjust the frequency of an oscillating signal to meet specific requirements. This adjustment can be achieved through various methods, including changing the properties of the oscillating circuit, modifying the characteristics of the components, or applying external control signals. Frequency stability. In many applications, maintaining a stable frequency over time is crucial for accurate operation. Frequency stability refers to the ability of a system or device to maintain a constant frequency despite changes in environmental conditions, component aging, or external disturbances. Frequency control methods. Variable capacitance. Changing the capacitance in an LC circuit can alter the resonant frequency, as seen in voltage-controlled oscillators, VCOs, or varactor diode base circuits. Variable inductance. Adjusting the inductance in an LC circuit can also affect the resonant frequency, although this method is less common. Temperature compensation. Using temperature-compensated components or circuits can mitigate frequency drift caused by temperature variations, as seen in temperature-compensated crystal oscillators, TCXOs, or oven-controlled crystal oscillators, OCXOs. Feedback control. Employing feedback mechanisms to continuously monitor and adjust the oscillating frequency based on external references or internal conditions. Frequency control devices. Crystal oscillators. Crystals provide highly stable and precise frequencies, and their frequency can be adjusted by selecting different crystal cuts or adjusting the circuit parameters. Voltage-controlled oscillators. VCOs these oscillators generate frequencies that can be controlled by varying an input voltage. Phase-locked loops, PLLs PLLs are used to generate stable output frequencies synchronized to a reference signal, providing precise frequency control and phase-locking capabilities. Digitally controlled oscillators, DCOs DCOs allow for digital control of the output frequency, making them suitable for applications requiring programmable frequency synthesis. Applications 
Frequency control is critical in various fields, including telecommunications, wireless communication, radar systems, instrumentation, audio processing, and timing devices. Examples include radio transmitters and receivers, frequency synthesizers, clock generators, and precision measurement instruments. Trade-offs Different frequency control methods offer various trade-offs in terms of frequency range, stability, tuning resolution, power consumption, cost, and complexity. The choice of frequency control method depends on the specific requirements of the application, such as frequency accuracy, stability, tuning range, and environmental conditions. Overall, frequency control plays a vital role in ensuring the accurate operation of electronic systems and devices across a wide range of applications, from consumer electronics to advanced communication and measurement systems. Overall, crystal oscillators play a crucial role in modern electronics by providing stable and accurate timing signals for a wide range of applications. Their precision and reliability make them indispensable components in many electronic systems. By harnessing the piezoelectric properties of the quartz crystal and creating a feedback loop that sustains the oscillations at the crystal's resonant frequency, a crystal oscillator produces a highly stable and accurate electrical signal. This signal serves as a precise timing reference in various electronic devices and systems, 